And they found that people were getting some nosebleeds yeah, yeah, and yeah. some of these little spider veins and they pulled it from the market. Interestingly, and watch this space in the next few years or sooner, there are drugs that are coming to market very quickly off the back of the semaglutide uh, GLP-1 agonists. I don't know if you're aware of this. Myostatin inhibiting drugs, or one of them is called by Mimugramab from Eli Lilly, will very nicely complement the tazapatide because of the, the thought that when you decrease the motility of your digestive tract with GLP-1s, when you decrease your appetite, there, there may, if you don't eat enough protein, be a decrease in, in, in muscle mass. So if they can add on this medication to the other, then, then that's the way to go. Essentially, they repurpose the drug that they reached phase three trials. So people that don't, don't know phase three is the final stage that you've tested in people in phase two, a small group of people in phase one for the safety, phase two, uh, general efficacy, phase three is a larger group of people and, and the final bit of efficacy.